All right, today we're going to be looking at a topic which isn't really do with limited, but it's something I've seen a few people asking about online, and there's a lot of information out there in different places. So I thought I'd bring what's been released together and talk about what is going on with these standard sets because there's some changes happening here. They look like there might be changes going forward, and there's some really unusual things going on. And I think the first of those things is that Crimson Vow is going to be coming out in the next few weeks. So spoilers start a few days from now. That's going to be Thursday the 28th. Uh, so the spoilers will be kicking off then. And then after that, you got the Arena release. So they'll be re released on Arena for draft and for standard on the 11th of November. Paper release will be, uh, the paper pre-release rather, is on the following day, the 12th of November. That'll be the Friday and that'll be pre-release weekend. And then the paper release, the full paper release and when you can play it in standard and paper will be the week after that. Don't get us started on the fact that they've got this kind of outdated uh, release schedule now. I think it should be updated in the light of Arena, but it's what we've got. But this does mean that we've had um, Midnight Hunt Standard only in Standard for around eight weeks. So all of these dates are eight weeks after the, the corresponding dates of Midnight Hunt. So that is an incredibly, incredibly short time. Usually it's a minimum of 12 weeks, probably a little bit more uh, around, uh, around, around about the three month mark uh, between Standard sets. So... Going forward after that, we have Kawagam and Neon Dynasty, which has been said is going to be released in quarter four. Then uh, Streets of New Capenna, which I'm really looking forward to in quarter two. Uh, Dominaria United in quarter three, and then Brothers 1 quarter four. Similar to what we've seen in the past, you have one set per quarter. And normally, uh, so if we look back at last year in 2021, uh, the quarter one set was released in January, quarter two in April, quarter three in July. That's sometimes June, sometimes July, depending on the year. And then uh, the Brothers War, uh, sorry, the quarter four set was in September. I think, and Mark Rosewater has stated in his blog that he's looking, looking to do this, but I think that these are going to be uh, slightly delayed. So uh, I think it's probably going to be something more like February for the Kaogama set, uh, May for the new Capenna set, August for the Dominari United set, and then uh, November maybe um, for October, November for the Brothers War set. So uh, I think because I wanted to tweak how the standard release schedule works and just move them around just because it makes sense from a marketing perspective for whatever reason. And there's nothing wrong with that. And this is just a transition period, the period that we've got. Also, we had some confirmation that they were going to be moving the standard uh, rotation period. So usually that's with the quarter three set in around September that we just had in Midnight Hunt. But they've uh, confirmed on, I think it was a stream, that that was going to be coming in when Dominaria United uh, releases. I think I've got a link to that now as well, a little clip. How about this? Harless, can you tell them when is, do we have a uh, period when standard rotation is happening next year? Do we have a period when standard rotation is happening Yeah, they're asking about when is it happening year. with Dominaria United? Is it happening with Brothers War? Oh, good question. Um... Okay, well, um, I'll tell you what, we Sorry, will, like... <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We'll get the answer to that, uh, and we will either share it on social or we'll come back to it in the stream. If somebody... uh, okay, and I... see, look at that. Someone got me the answer. Uh, it's rotating with Dominaria Oh, United. perfect. There we go. It's Dominaria United, everyone. Uh, I knew yeah. that. And the reason for this is that they are wanting to keep um, the four sets in the standard rotation, four sets out when the standard rotation happens. So I'm going to go through what that looks like in a second, but for now, a uh, quick little code on the screen here for you to, uh, just again a bit another thank you i think it's six packs of midnight hunt from a pre-release kit so uh, feel free to use it let us know in the comments when you've used it and i hope you get some goodies from that but going back to this rotation thing so you're going to have the four sets rotating out in this case it is going to be zendikar rising cal time strixhaven and dungeons and dragons will, will be going out around about the same time after we get the midnight hunt we get crimson vow we get kawagama new capenna so Dominaria comes in, those first four sets come out, and then we'll get the Brothers War, and then we'll get two, probably, two more sets after that before uh, the two Innistrad sets, Kawagama and New Capenna, all rotate out. So rotation is not really changing, but the time of year it's going to change is, and it looks like it's going to be at the start of the summer rather than the end of the summer. I think that's quite a big important change that a lot of people have uh, maybe let pass them by. It was announced, but kind of unofficially, and it was on a stream, uh, so that is an interesting development. Anyway, thanks again if you're watching. Uh, spoiler season is coming up in a matter of days, so there'll be a few videos related to that coming out. Still thinking about exactly how I'm going to do spoilers this, this time. I enjoyed what got 
went out last time. Uh, I think if we get an interesting mechanic, I might do a little explanation video on that again because the one on Dave Aaron and I ran, went down really well. But let us know what you want to see. Uh, lots, lots of people do spoiler videos. I'm not necessarily going to do the full spoiler video, but uh, you know, I'm happy to talk about cards because I love talking about these new spoilers. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you at the draft table very soon.